putting the criminal element on notice that the good citizens of Shreveport want their streets back and we're going to take them back. Shreveport's police chief sends out a warning after more gun violence erupts over the weekend. Good evening, I'm Jackie Jovic. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. At least two people were killed and several more wounded following shootings at a hotel and an apartment complex over the last week. Because Safety Matters, NBC6's Jenna Jordan joins us now live with the police chief's plan to cut down on crime. Jenna? Dan and Jackie, as a summer crime wave heats up in Shreveport, Police Chief Ben Raymond and city leaders say they intend to take the city back from criminals. This year, as the temperature rises, so is the number of violent crimes. I'm not bragging on the number. We're, we're way too high. 33 is entirely too many. That's 33 homicides so far in 2020. The total number for all of last year was 42. In a news conference Monday, Police Chief Ben Raymond calling for an end to the violence. An entire generation can be affected by one senseless murder. He says a violent crimes task force will target known offenders, and an emergency supplemental patrol program will increase police visibility in the community. A large part of keeping violence down and reducing crime is having an adequate number of police officers on the streets 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Chief Raymond says the department is currently down 81 officers from where they should be staffed, and the pandemic is also impacting policing. We were doing really good with our uh, grassroots walks and getting out in the neighborhoods and going to those community events. We haven't had those things now in four or five months. Now city leaders are calling on neighbors to also take action. You have to get to the point that we either step up or we shut up. Councilwoman Tabitha Taylor saying she's tired of the killings in the community, including a shootout at an apartment complex last week that killed 23-year-old Andre Braggs and injured three others, including an 11-year-old boy. As a citizen, as a councilwoman, as a mother, I cannot take another child being shot. And Crime Stoppers is bringing back their End the Silence, Stop the Violence campaign. As an extra incentive, they say people who provide information that helps police get illegal weapons off the street, they can get a minimum of $750. That number is 6737373 for Crime Stoppers, and they stress that all tips that are given will remain anonymous. Reporting live in Shreveport, Jenna Jordan, back to you. All right, thank you. Hopefully, this ends soon, Jenna.